This is the line, a 170-kilometer long mirrored metropolis in the desert that Saudi Arabia is creating. But what is this line, and how did such an idea even come to exist? In this video, we will take a closer look at one of the most ambitious man-made city projects ever created. Many Middle Eastern countries are working to transition away from carbon-based economies and toward alternatives that draw visitors from across the world for tourism, commerce, employment, or residence. This is necessary given how quickly climate change is progressing. One such instance is the Neom development, which will be constructed in Saudi Arabia. Although Saudi Arabia is home to some of the most fascinating and ambitious buildings in the world, its newest urban endeavor might surpass them all. The $725 billion futuristic city, The Line, which would accommodate 9 million people, is a crucial component of the plan. It consists of a 500-meter-tall, 200-meter-wide mirror-like wall-like structure. The project would stretch 170 kilometers inland from the Red Sea across coastal desert, mountain, and upper valley landscapes. It will be constructed in Saudi Arabia's northwestern Tabuk area. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos if you're interested in learning more about multi-billion dollar construction projects throughout the globe. The line asserts to have created a new standard for sustainable growth. A small portion of NEOM's 26,500 square kilometer property, its footprint is only 34 square kilometers, less than 4 square meters per person. As a result, the landscape may be treated with more care than one might often expect for a megacity. The NEOM proposal also includes a port for shipping, an airport, research facilities, sports and entertainment venues, and tourist attractions. Although the line is marketed as a post-carbon eco-city, there are substantial doubts about whether the project can achieve its environmental, economic, and social objectives in a matter of years given the scope of its aims. The project seems impressive environmentally at first glance. The distance from any place in the city to the urban edge is no more than 100 meters. No portion of the line is more than 20 minutes away thanks to a high-speed electric public transportation service. Living in such a massive building suggests a cramped lifestyle. However, each person would theoretically benefit from an average urban volume of 1,000 cubic meters. That's a lot more hospitable than most living conditions in congested cities. Unfortunately, a complex vertical transportation system would be required, as in many high-density, high-rise structures. The building has the same height as a typical 125-story skyscraper. At $55,000 per inhabitant, the project's costs also appear reasonable. Let's assume that this is just relevant to infrastructure and is feasible in a nation with employment costs that are significantly lower than those in industrialized nations. Even said, it is still unclear how the largest building ever built can contain modern infrastructure, ultra-high-speed rail, and other services. The line is not the first work to use a linear structure. In 1882, the Spanish urbanist Arturo Soria y Imada created the idea of the linear city. Utilizing infrastructure, such as water, electricity, gas, and transportation, along a constricted, linear metropolitan corridor allows for significant energy savings. The idea behind the design was to urbanize the countryside and ruralize the metropolis. This idea is echoed in the line. One does question its effects on the landscape, though. How can a continuous, 500-meter-tall mirror wall that spans 170 kilometers of the landscape and reflects desert heat and light influence the local biodiversity? The direction of the line seems to be east-west. Although this would be ideal for sun thermal management, it will probably create a lot of shadows in the middle of winter. Living with no emissions is the goal of the line. Renewable energy is used, green hydrogen generates export revenue, wastewater is recycled, and the newest, smart city innovations and mixed-use structures are all present. Driving a car is avoided in favor of traveling by foot, bicycle, and public transportation. However, the building and materials for such a massive undertaking might be incredibly emissions-intensive. According to the idea, nobody would be more than two minutes away from nature, in other words, the urban edge at ground level. But is the time spent waiting for a lift taken into account? Without proper planning, heavy dependence on vertical transit could dash plans for precincts that are actually bikeable or walkable. 
It's unclear if the modules that make up the line would match neighborhoods. And will people, businesses, and other organizations be able to express their designs however they like, or will the entire city have a uniform appearance? Ordinary cities have independent constructed form expression as a fundamental component, however with the line's inflexible framework, this may not be viable. It is uncertain whether people would accept this. The line was designed to revolutionize urban living and was expected to be finished by 2030. It remains to be seen whether such a complicated megacity can be finished so quickly since development has yet to start in earnest. Additionally, the project plan barely mentions crucial elements like community organization, various types of households, potential demographics, governance, personal rights, and tolerance for a range of spiritual and religious convictions. The line affirms that, human experience, will be at the core of its policies, that, progressive legislation, would be in place, and that access to healthcare will promote, individual empowerment. But because new immigrants bring their own ideals, preserving this vision can be challenging. The line seems to represent a significant effort at nation-building. In comparison to Saudi Arabia's existing population of 35 million, the line's anticipated population of 9 million implies a 25% growth in residents. Although a timetable was not provided in the line's announcement, it is anticipated that people will start moving in by the year 2030, with initial earthwork starting in October 2021. This deadline was announced as a part of Vision 2030, a bigger national improvement program that aims to attract 100 million tourists annually and maintain Saudi Arabia competitive with other popular tourism destinations like its Gulf neighbors Dubai and Abu Dhabi. The $500 billion NEOM project, which was launched in 2017 and is centered on the northwest region of Saudi Arabia, includes the line as just one component. It is envisioned for the region to become so autonomous that it will be known as a country within a country, with citizens referred to as Neomians, rather than Saudis. All people from all corners of the world will be able to leave their creative and original imprint on the planet at Neom. Neom is still one of Saudi Vision 2030's most crucial projects, and we are steadfastly committed to completing the line on behalf of the country," claimed Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in a press release on July 25, 2022. The line's marketing strategy focuses on innovation, a strategic position, luxury and professional lifestyles, technology, and environmental sustainability. This indicates that the project's planners and designers hope to create an innovative and outstanding urban development that can quickly usher Saudi Arabia towards a post-carbon future. To do that, every component is present. But from the perspective of planning and building, it will need a tremendous amount of willpower, financial might, and capability. And it's still unclear if the line will be able to successfully entice the residents it needs. In future videos, we intend to provide you with more details on this project as well as other upcoming mega-billion dollar projects from around the world. In the meantime, feel free to share your opinions about the line in the comments below. And if you haven't already, press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your interest and we'll see you in the next mega-build video.